Welcome, welcome. Um, thank you guys for jumping on this call to the Philippines. Kai, thanks so much for setting this up. Thanks for showing me the ranks. I'm trying to get an idea of, of, of what ranks are getting on, mainly because I, I understand over time what the rank represents in effort, which there's an instant respect when I see higher ranks and I know what you went through to get there. And I, I also know the skill set that's typically required to get to one, to get to two, to get to three. I also have taught a little bit last time on the different skill sets or the additional skill sets that's needed to be learned and, and adopted to get to four and to get to five. And that progression is why I really want to focus in on what leaders are on the phone. There will be some times we'll have just fives. It, you know, you want to keep rank advancing. There'll be times we'll do three and above, and there's times we'll do all leaders and do an all call and get everyone on the, on the phone to, to chat. So there is value in being able to speak very directly to certain individuals who have hit, hit rank because we know that certain things are done. We know certain things are already understood and learned. And then we also know to get to from five to six to seven, um, there's a different set of, of skills, of energy and effort the exposure rate needs to be much higher, meaning that you probably can't do it by yourself. You can't physically go out by yourself and expose it to enough people to do that. It's more about training your team, educating other people, and having more, more individuals, more businesses within your business that have the skill set to go out and do that training and do those presentations and to educate other people. Because if you get 10 people on your team going out and doing 15 presentations a month or whatever that goal is, if you had 10 people doing that, that's 150 more presentations every month on, in your team, in your business, than, um, than you going out there and just doing your 15, right? Even if you could possibly do one every single day and do 30 or 35, maybe you double up on Saturdays or the weekend and you get 40, that is the hardest way to try to continue to grow your business long-term. The best way is to identify leaders that can take the baton, if you would, right? You guys have seen the race, the, the long-term, the relay races where they're running around a track and someone does their part and then they reach out and they hand the baton and the next person takes it and they run their piece and the next person hands it and they do it and then you have the, the relay concept. I very much picture this business like that we run, we do our part, we work hard. And the difference is we don't pass the baton and stop running. We just pass the baton and then we start working with someone else who needs that support because the person you handed the baton to, to understands um, the skill set or have, has developed the skill set to progress their business. And they no longer need the same type of support. They don't need you to present for them every day. They might need you to present when they have um, a certain individual on the phone or some, some situation like that, but they don't necessarily need that every day. So all of those skill sets are different. And you guys, it sounds like most of you are in that pro two, pro three window, a lot of inviting going on, a lot of presenting and um, very much. So there's some baton handing off, but Kai is probably doing a lot of the handoffs. Uh, Marjorie, I see you on here. I see some of you guys and I want to, first of all, Luis, even you from Tucson, you guys, first of all, I just want to tell you, I personally appreciate all of you guys being willing to work together. Um, and I say that with a lot of respect and integrity because it allows me to come on this call really excited because we have a lot of different teams from our organization working together for a common goal is to get the people in the Philippines support, right? Let's get this to everybody and help everybody um, let's you know, increase the exposure rates and get this to the world. And you guys are doing a great job at working together. And um, I just, I appreciate that. I see a lot of teams that don't do that. And it's, you know, it, it slows everything down, right? If you guys heard the quote, a, a rising tide raises all ships, right? When you guys work together and, you know, the tide rises, the business grows, in your guys' country, everyone gets the benefit when that takes place, especially you guys that have went out and worked hard during a, a potential pre-launch or a launching situation, and you guys are months into an endeavor that could be completely incredible. And that's a great place to be one year, two years, three years from now, 
you guys are in a wonderful position to capture a huge amount of growth, not only in your country, but as we open other areas, the work you're doing right now will allow your efforts to expand into, into other places. So, um, so anyways, we had a long weekend teaching those concepts, those behaviors. Um, we talk about, we teach people how to build leadership down in depth in their organization. We teach people how to build character in their personal selves in depth. You guys have heard the concept digging the well before you're thirsty. I think we covered that it last time. Kai, you can remind me. I think we, we covered a little bit of that. We will get more into that each month as we go through this and, and whatever time we need to spend. But there's times to build when things are okay and things are, are open and excited. You guys are in the perfect window to run right now because um, your country is new and it doesn't really know about us yet and we're running. Um, we are doing things right. We have great products. We have great corporate. We have uh, so many things in place that allow the, maybe some additional confidence um, and additional support and different additional success to take place in your guys' businesses that might be different than you have in the past. So, so all of that to me equals this perfect kind of dynamic where everything's coming together. Now, and I understand some of you um, you know, you're watching and learning that because of past experiences and I'm, I'm with you. I did the same thing. I had to make sure, is this really true? Is this really happening? Is this legitimate? And um, I'm just maybe here to lend a little bit of confidence to you to tell you that I'm extremely excited how far we've come and where the company is and where we're heading. So I don't profess to know all the ins and outs yet um, for the Philippines, um, Kai and Greg. Um, have done a great job at kind of filling me in. You guys know, you know their hearts. Um, some of you, Marjorie Hampson, know the same. And I wish any more of you, I could, I could um, get to know you better to do the same. But, but I just know that you guys are in a great place and working with good people, first of all. Um, this weekend, I spent a lot of time doing that. We still have people in town who came to the two-day training. They just stayed and got more mentorship. <laughs> We've been chatting. And um, someone popped in today and brought some guacamole and some chips so we could chat some more. And um, it's just what we do, right? We continue to mentor and train. It's the fun part of the business. We are very, very well paid for a really good social life, right? <laughs> for friends, family, and um, people we, we hang out with, we get to, to do a lot of communicating and mentoring. And it, it feels way different than a business relationship. My past business experiences have been in um, the construction world, which didn't feel a ton like family, right? You work, you go home. The fire department had a, a family feel. Obviously, we'd live together. We're there 24 hours a day. We'd sleep in the same um, house, right, in the same station. And so we had our individual rooms, but it's, we always had the, the meals together. And so we felt that. But this is one of the first times I felt the same family feel um, in a business. Now, this is a little difficult over Zoom. This is not what I love to do, to be honest with you guys. I wish I was there shaking hands and giving hugs and, and getting to understand and who you are and who your families are and, and what your needs are. I'm going to attempt tonight to, to go through some of that. Tonight will be probably a little less training from me, right, at first, but I would like to get some feedback from you guys. So before we move on, be thinking about a couple of things, okay? Um, over the next few months, we're going to be doing some training, and I would love to know what would help you to grow your business faster? And I'm going to say this nicely. I'm going to, I'd like to know what you think would help you build your business faster. Okay. What I mean by that is, do you guys know Henry Ford? Anybody familiar with who he was and, and developing the automobile and mass producing um, automobiles? And he said an interesting comment one time. He said, he said, um, if I would have asked the people what they needed, right? What would they have told me? He says, they would have told me they needed a faster horse. He says, that's what they would have told me. They didn't think about the idea of a vehicle and, and engines and motors and being able to do something different. People like, I know what to do. I just need a faster horse. And I think too many times brand new people in this industry say, I just need a better invite, right? Or I just need uh, another product, it'll be, it'll be better, or I need this or that. And, and, and we will obviously listen, and I understand. And then we will hopefully correct and train and mentor to help you realize that what you have, if you guys have the tri synergize in your hand, and that's a great announcement, Kai, thank you for, for filling me in. If you guys have that in your hand, you have everything you need. <laughs> okay? That is the powerful, powerful set of products that are changing the world. And I was a paramedic 
Uh, that was my background. And so I spent a lot of time studying the body, how it works, trying to do the best I can at getting things um, to function quickly and properly. If we show up at someone's house and they're hurting and they're not breathing or their heart stopped, we had some quick you know, medications that would stimulate those things and try to get it going. But there was no replacement for proactive long-term understanding of how our bodies work and how to take care of them and how to activate our bodies. And we have a, you guys have a very, very special opportunity with those products in your hands. So what I'd like to do tonight is, and maybe from all of you, it's going to have to be kind of quick because I know we have quite a few on the call, maybe 30 seconds. Um, one is, I, and, and Kai, you might have to help me a little bit with keeping track. Maybe we can just okay. keep it of things that you would like to learn, right? Things that I need to know better things. And then I would like to know maybe just one thing that I want to learn. And I don't want it to be like a, you know, uh, this is going wrong and all this stuff. We, if that happens, let Kai know, we'll, we'll get through that stuff together. But what I'd like to know is one thing you'd like to learn to do better. And then one thing that's going well, okay? Here's what's going well. And I'm going to start off by saying you guys have a great product and you guys have a lot of support people willing to go set in your country with you lock arms work with you not tell you what to do from a distance they're willing to literally be there my wife was going to come in here in a second maybe she'll poke her head in and and um we're looking at some exciting news it looks like we might it's still a maybe i don't want to say for sure but it looks like we're gonna hopefully be down there when you guys open in june and we have some stuff planned um we're super excited but the main thing is, is that you guys, number one, have products, you guys have support. Um, sometimes it's on Zoom. You guys have people face to face. You have people in the corporate office all the time, willing to help, willing to support. And so those are the types of things that I love that are going well. Um, I, I, I have a feeling and I've talked a little bit about there's some ways to increase things like subscriptions. Um, I know each country has its own um, trials or, or difficulties and confidence and some systems like that. And I don't want to recommend something that's, that's broken, but I do want to, to let you know that if we can get some things figured out and get as much as we can, as much of our businesses as we can on some kind of automatic um, process, you're going to love the, <laughs> the results. You're going to love to be able to take a week or a month and deal with life or deal with family and not have your business change drastically because of, of something going on like that. So there's some things that I understand are that we're working on. Okay. And those are okay to talk about. And then I'd like to know some things that you guys personally would like to understand. Uh, we have other leaders willing to get on this call as well. Um, Kai, you know, Chris Michaels, him and I had a great talk the other day super excited to meet you guys support you guys and the first thing he said is are we going down to the opening i, I, I want to go <laughs> so when you guys start having pro you know a, a master to pro tens when you guys have executive master pro tens you guys have pro nines and pro eights willing to come down and lock arms i think there's a it tells you something right we believe in you guys we believe in our products we believe in what we're doing down there we're confident in where the company's heading and we're willing to spend our time and money and energy to come down and to support, if nothing else, hopefully to mentor and train and help you develop some leadership skills that may help you. A lot of you have some of those skills. We just need to um, give you some time to develop them with the leaders and improve yourself, which I understand. And so we're definitely not coming down to, to tell you you need to do something different than you're already doing but we can obviously offer some support and help because we have been in this situation on phone calls just like this over and over and over as we've launched areas and we've launched countries, we've launched different parts of the world and it's fun watching that take place. But to help me, I would love to know some of the, the hurdles and things you guys are dealing with, things you like to learn and, and grow in so we can work better. And then a couple of things that are going well that we can build upon. So, Kai, if you want to kind of lead that discussion, you can, we can go across the top here, but I would love some feedback. Last time I felt like I got, I talked, 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 and we left and I didn't get to, to meet some of you. So, so maybe your name and rank, um, this is going well. Here's one thing I hope to learn. And then we'll go to the next person. I'm hoping maybe 30 seconds to a minute each, maybe not even a minute. Cause we got, we don't have that many minutes left. So 30 seconds real quick. And, um, and let's go around the horn. So Kyle, I'll turn it to you and I'll take some notes and we'll see if we can. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, you guys, huwag kayong mahiya. Uh, type it in. Uh, kahit Tagalog, I can uh, basically translate it in English. Um, type it in what you wish to learn. You know, what you, you're, you're enjoying right now, kung ano yung nagugustuhan nyo, pero ano yung kailangan ninyo. Ano yung gusto ninyong matuto, anong gusto ninyong i-train ni, ni Blue dito sa atin. Ano pa yung gusto ninyong ma-master. So, um, you know, ju just type it in. Huwag kayong mahiya. All right, let's do this because we are providing you this training is because really um, parang dinadisect natin yung talagang pangangailangan nyo kasi lag, lago na lang tayo ng uh, general lagi yung mga ano natin, isa lang ang nagsasalita. So ngayon, mas maganda na magkakaroon tayo ng interaction you guys. So ano yung kailangan nyo? Ano yung missing link? Ano yung, yung, yung gusto nyo pang ma-improve para matulungan natin kayo? Kasi galing kami dyan. Yes, yes. Hi, Beth Busa from New Jersey. So, Blue, when, when I was in the Philippines, we got a lot of uh, people who were interested with the packs and all that, right? And, you know, in the Philippines, uh, before they invest, like, even just the 15,000 is a lot for them. So, 15, 30, and some are going to platinum, right? And most of them are very apprehensive in, uh, you know, getting into subscription after spending the 60,000. We know it's so important to, uh, you know, to make them go into the subscription that, because that's where the business is, right? So what are, um, of course, we've already told them how important it is, but uh, they are still very apprehensive to go into that. Could you help us, you know, steer them into, you know, on how really to handle it properly? Okay, I want to, what we'll do is go around here today and then I will yes. answer as many as we can at the end. And then I'll have a big list of training topics that we'll touch on. Um, number two things. One is I would love in the future to understand, and I'll work with Kai and I'll work with the leaders to understand um, the subscription system. If it's working and we're confident and it's, and it's safe, then we're going to promote it and use it and, and figure it out, right? Um, and if, if purchasing, some people want to go to the office and purchase, obviously that's going to happen. And that's fine. It's just a hard way to do a business at this magnitude. It's easy when you're a pro one and pro two, but if you're going to be a pro nine and pro 10 in the company, that's a lot of, of, of logistical movement, movement of products and things that don't have to take place. So, so thank you for the feedback. I know that's a concern and I, I want to put that down and we'll, uh, we'll continue to address these as we go, but. Okay, we'll keep moving, but thank you so much, Beth. That's very helpful. One here from Emil Barre, Pro, uh, pro 5, oh, Pro okay. 4, sorry. Things are going well, you know, because her mom just uh, rank advanced to Pro 5. and Congrats. But uh, she wants to be able to convince people, especially those of her age group in 20s, as a first timer in this kind of business. Obviously, zero network marketing experience, and she's very, very young. Thank you, Emil, and congratulations for being a Pro 4. Amy, thank you. I, being young is, uh, that's going to be fun. We'll talk to you directly at some of these calls. I wish I was your age when I found this. You're, it's, a, it's a very, it's a lot, of, lot to learn, different concept, but right now it's, uh, it's going to be awesome. So thank you. Rona, how are you? Go ahead. Hi, Hi thank you. Uh, we have a lot of presentations going on in the Philippines and uh, we have a lot of enrollments. Uh, my, my struggle is really how to encourage the distributors who have uh, lost interest and those who have a lot of prospects, but apparently uh, the follow-ups are not really happening. Uh, we're losing a lot of people who, who were um, in the beginning interested and then later on, did it, I don't know why they didn't sign up or I don't know how to encourage the team to, to do the, a lot of follow-ups. Because I cannot follow up enough because I'm here. I just do the Zoom presentation for them, but I cannot really follow up their people because I really don't know them. Yeah, that's my struggle as a leader. Okay. Per perfect, perfect question. Um, lots of meetings is the positive, right? That's a, a one skill set that has to happen. Lots of presentations took in, taking place and we're losing them in the second step and the follow up and resolving concerns and some. So, um, I will say one thing, and I'm going to say this probably a lot before we're done. We deal with that everywhere. That's probably one of the biggest issues on our team early on. So it's, it's not, I appreciate your honesty with that. 
And there are some things we can do to help. Sometimes it's just learning and exposing and doing, you know, obviously getting better at follow-ups is one thing, but sometimes it's just going through the numbers because um, a lot of those could just be saying no, and that's okay, right? But maybe there's some things we can do to set up the follow-up and do a better job and prepare them. And maybe we teach a little different. So questions are getting answered during the presentation uh, a little bit better. And we're doing a better job at, at leading them down to say yes and understand and you know, how can we help you? And we resolve all those concerns during the presentation. So um, great feedback. Let's, let's keep going. Rana, thank you so much. What, what rank are you, Rana? Is it Rona? Go for Go for four. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Blue. Thank you, Rana. Is there any other people? Candice, yes. Go ahead, Candice. Our pro three. Candice, unmute yourself. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm not so sure if, if this one is related to our topic, but then like our our life dance is at. Um I, I noticed that it's not like fully equipped. So um I mean we can boast about their app, but then we can't really use it. So it's wondering um when it's when everything's going to be up and running so it'll be much easier because it's really it's really actually a good app. Okay. It, and I heard it was I think you're asking when the app and everything will be up and running um, efficiently or better there. Is that, is that what you were saying? Sorry, it was cutting off a little bit. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Some of that I'm going to have to check on because I don't, I don't know. But I, um, I just spent the weekend um, doing, uh, well, two weeks ago, doing the Pro 5 Summit. So I was actually in, up in um, uh, the office. And we have all of the, the general managers from the country came in and we got to um, talk with everyone and, and get to meet people from different countries. We had pro fives that flew in from Philippines and, and we had pro fives that flew in from, um, from Australia and um, different countries. It, it, we, we had a blast. I don't, I, I was laughing as I went around cause I was be speaking and I hear translators going on, from Spanish and, and in the background, it was really fun to, to, to hear all the, the effort going in to make sure everyone understood. Um, but I don't personally do use the app a lot. Um, we, we really built a lot and everything we had was on old fashioned. Like we used to teach on napkins and everything cause we were just starting and we had nothing. And so now that we have a lot, I have two thoughts. One is let's, let's try to get it working and use it because there's so many benefits to the new technology and all of those things. But my second thought will always be, we do have what we need, right? We have a mouth. We we're excited. We have a product and we have a compensation plan that pays and we have a great business plan and we can go do it either way. So keep continue to run and then we'll work on the back end at trying to get you support through those other areas. But um, maybe what we can do, Candice, too, is talk offline. I would love to know the issues and, and what's going on, and then I can um, better help when we're on these calls with, with corporate to, to solidify that. And those can be redirected through Kai or whatever. And we don't look at them as complaints. We would just love to know some of the things that aren't happening, and we can work on improving them. And, and as long as you guys are patient and optimistic and let's use what we have, um, we know the product's working and we know our our mouths are working so we can do the business. This other stuff will support us as we get it going, but we do, we, we want it, We don't want to put the effort into pro, uh, uh, a product like that or an app that's not working. So we want to make sure that it's, it's for everyone, but I just don't know the time frame or how it works there in the Philippines and everything else. So we'll find out, but thank you. Can I add my two cents, uh, Blue, Absolutely. on I? that? Yes, uh, Candice, that, that's a great, um, you know, uh, thank you for raising your voice on the app. That's a great topic. However, uh, yes, like Blue said, the company is truly uh, improving, trying to improve uh, their their uh, app for, for, for all of us. However, um, you know, even, even our, our back office, you know, there's a lot of things that needs to be improved. But uh, uh, at, at um, you know, at co company's time, you know, they, they are trying their best. But uh, of course, uh, when you air it out to blue, definitely it will go up to the management. So that's that's uh, this is the right time for you guys to really voice it out. But please, for people who are youngsters who are computer savvy or uh, whatever app savvy, use it, maximize it. But for me and blue, who's kind of like centennial, not not yet Jurassic, but centennials, I mean, we we don't really <laughs> dive on the app, but we have our mouth. <laughs> 
<laughs> definitely we just even learned how to zoom right blue <laughs> no just kidding <laughs> so whatever resource that you you are very very effective uh, um please use that use that resource okay because anybody can do this business with or without the app or something like that uh i see marjorie marjorie uh, are you raising your hand? Hi, everyone. Thank you, Kai, um, for yeah, organizing this um, training. And hi, Blue. So this, this is my fifth day. So hopefully tomorrow <laughs> I could already go out from quarantine. From the prison. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm excited to see the office yeah. tomorrow. So anyway, um, uh, I think uh, I would love if we could have training about, um, you know, um, emphasizing the culture of life vantage, since, you know, a lot of us are very negative about network marketing. With what is going on right now, it's very important that people identify our culture, uh, which is so different from other networking, because we want life advantage to last the generation. And the reason uh, a lot of challenges that we're facing right now is a lot of people, when we talk to them because of their past experiences here in the Philippines, they don't want to do it because you know they, they thought that uh, life advantage is just the same. And that is really one of the biggest challenges that we're facing, especially me. I've never done network marketing. This is my first time. And maybe this would be my last <laughs> network marketing because I want to. <laughs> so yeah, it's very important, you know, that people understand that integrity, honesty is very important in doing this business. Mm -hmm. So that is that would be really a good a good topic. So you know, we could um, actually show to the people here that are so negative about network marketing that life advantage is different. Yeah. Well, Marjorie, thank you. I'm going to speak to that just for a second now because I I love that, and I I hope. Um, it, my training on culture, I hope, won't come as a PowerPoint on culture, right? Uh, maybe it should, but for me, you're going to hear it in Kai's voice. You're going to hear it in, uh, and see it when we show up at the office and support you. You're going to feel it when we use the products. Um, you're going to hear the respect when somebody has a concern. You're going to hear support when, when somebody needs it, right? You're, we're gonna we're gonna show you the culture because it's it's unique and it's different, and the leaders that are on this call are willing to put actions into place. It's not just verbal. It's not you know just just voice, right? We're showing you that the company is real. We're working. We're there now. Um, second thing, Marjorie, the reality is, I went to uh, to Maine and New Hampshire on the East Coast, and those guys said, "Oh man." no one will do it here network marketing is, has a bad name and people are tired of it and we have pro eights and pro sevens all over on the east coast right i went to mexico and they said oh man we can't do that and we, we can't do shipments down here and there's things going on and they figured it out and they're growing australia had the same concern i, I laugh respectfully because it's it, business is hard the harder it is the hard things in my life have the most value and this is one of the hardest things i've ever done um, we've dealt with all of those concerns. We have overcame them and we have found the success from them. Now, I look at my life, even my, my marriage, my family, my kids, anything that has true success took a lot of sacrifice, took a lot, a lot of effort. And I hope it's not super easy. <laughs> I mean that respectfully, because I think by you guys learning and struggling and pushing through and getting some no's, and having to understand the compensation plan, having to, to get on board with us and, and show them our culture, show them that we're honest. We're not tricking people to come to meetings. We're gonna tell them straight up. They're gonna learn that we're straightforward. Our products work. They're gonna hear um, proper, um, when I say claims or testimonials, they won't have claims. They're gonna be how they're supposed to be. And they're gonna learn that we're different. Um, we'll, we'll show you some ways to do that and some ideas to talk about, but we're going to try to just implement them and be there to support that. But Marjorie, you, you hit it on the head. When people understand our culture and they get that we're different, then the message becomes easier. It becomes real. And um, it does speed in, it, it does speed up our exposure rates and our enrollment rates and ultimately our success for, for all those that are trying to do this. So 
Um, that is awesome, awesome advice. And I hope you feel that and hear that every call you get on with this company. So I, I agree with that, Blue. And in addition to that margin, Blue, uh, we all know our, our life vantage culture. And that's the reason why we're, we're sharing, we're beginning to, to show them uh, how we do this. Uh, however, Blue, uh, you cannot blame these people in the Philippines like Marge, because the leaders, most of the leaders here in the Philippines, uh, they narrated it to me that their upline truly uh, kind of like even steal, their upline steal their, their people and that really demoralizes them. And they are leaders, like they are already diamonds, blue diamonds, no matter what their rank is, I couldn't believe it, Blue, uh, to hear their cries that uh, their upline, upline, you know, for example, I'm, a, I'm your pro eight and you're a master pro 10. The master pro 10 would even try to steal uh, my people and even try to work kind of like uh, under under underground and that I told them it's not going to happen in life vantage because number one we are publicly traded you guys and we cannot just do like rearranging your trees or stealing your trees in fact just so you know um one of the things that i am doing here in the philippines to elevate the status of network marketing is to bring in the multi-millionaires the billionaires and guess what they're not even doing the the business they're they're very pricey they're very you know you have to take care of them and i'm doing the dirty job but you know what they were saying Oh my God, I have 68,000 pesos in my bank. I have 100,000, I have 43,000. How did that happen? And because I told them, you know, uh, well, you know, they, they developed trust in me because I did not steal. I did not sign their people because they're bringing in all the people, all the rich people, and they can just, you know, sign a platinum, platinum left and right. And guess what? That's how you, tr you earn the trust of people. Do not do not enroll it underneath your, your direct enrolling. So you just have to serve them, show, show the, the integrity. Some, some of that will be, yeah. And you hit it. Some of it will be training and knowing how to do it right. And, um, but it's hard because we, we can't, we can't change what other companies have done, what other people have done. Um, if everyone takes ownership, treats people how they want to be treated, show integrity, have integrity and be honest, we're going to, we're going to show the culture of life advantage. Um, I can tell you about five situations where people have come into our company here in the States. They had an agenda similar to those and automatically they just weeded themselves out because it wasn't comfortable to them. We weren't talking just about sports cars. We were talking about families and long-term income and helping people with their health and wellness. And, and um, we've had people come and go. And those that are here for the long haul are, are the people you're talking about. So um, and I do, and I'm not, and I don't, and Kai, you said um, to not blame people. I'm definitely not in a position to, to blame anyone's feelings because I, I don't live there and I know things are different, but we've dealt with this everywhere. Um, it's just people, right? Here's why the network marketing is, is hard because we deal with people like that, but it's also amazing because we deal with people, right? I've had my most treasured experiences because of people and I've had my hardest, hardest emotional <laughs> setbacks because People surprise me with some of the weird stuff they do. So all we can do is, is guarantee that our, our individual um, and, and support and, and integrity. And then another thing from a FAB point of view and the top, one of the top leaders, we spend a lot of time with corporate. And if any of you have spent time with them, please share the feelings you've had and the, the confidence that you have, especially those who might've come to Pro5 Summit or those things. We try our best to get you guys to understand the value and the integrity that's behind everything from our products to our distributors to our corporate staff and um and so anyways that's what we're working on no one's perfect and at, especially individually but as a company we can average and hopefully uh help you guys have a very good home for a long time so um, but thank yes, you Madel. good ways to bring up Madel's next go for it Madel is our profile blue Madel, congrats good yeah. job you're amazing thank you Actually, I'm not really happy with my rank right now. <laughs> she's a former blue diamond from Kiani Blue. So leader, she's big leaders leader. are never never quite happy, and that's that's what keeps us going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a high yeah. standard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I I always set uh, a big goal, a goal that I can um uh, it's impossible to reach <laughs> so that I could I could do more. Anyways, um, here in the Philippines, uh, we have a unique culture here. Uh, actually, Kai is, is already uh, 
an American. <laughs> she is uh, she's not hundred percent Filipino already since she's been living in the U.S. So the culture here is quite different from uh, the U.S. and there are uh, things that are not applicable here in the Philippines. What the people are doing in the in the U.S. For example, we have like 7,000 islands here in the Philippines. So if you want to reach all those people, you have to go to places and it will uh, require time, effort, and money to go to those places. That's why um, I, I really wanted that. Uh, and also Filipinos are, um, you have to spoon feed Filipinos. And uh, yeah, uh, on the subscription, on a lot of things. So my my uh, my hope is that our team could be able for the Philippine market to create a really simple system that uh, Filipinos can follow. Uh, since Filipinos wanted always to be spoon fed and everything should be given to them. On a simple system like uh, for duplication, because a lot of Filipinos are very good in hitting the rank. And as you can see uh, from the other team, uh, we are here in the Philippines ranking to like Pro 8 in like four months. And that is not, done in other countries because Filipinos are very hardworking and and uh, opportunity opportunistic as well but uh, and 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 the flow that we have here is what Beth, Bout Beth Busa said about the subscription that's really always the challenge here in the Philippines number one because there are a lot of uh, local network marketing companies and even other Asian network uh, marketing companies that uh, that is present here in the Philippines that doesn't require a subscription or authorship. So that's basically a majority of the networkers here. The mindset is that if they knew that there is subscription or authorship or we call it here maintenance, they don't like it. So, but then, but then for me, uh, subscription or authorship is the way to create passive income. You cannot, you can never create a passive income without the, the reorders or the authorship. So uh, one way that could build up the subscription is if Life Vantage Philippines could add more additional payment uh, ways, like for the subscription, we only use debit card or credit cards here. Maybe they could uh, add GCash for the subscription and even bank transfer. And also the thing about subscription, uh, some people cannot do it because they don't have credit cards or even debit cards. There are places here in the Philippines that don't go to banks. They don't have, they don't open a bank account. There are places like in Mindanao or, or in Baguio up north. Uh, their money is just inside their house. So <laughs> they don't want to go to the bank. So, uh, and for them to have debit cards, uh, uh, it's not for them. It's, it, they don't want to do that. So there are, are people like that. And, and many of, of uh, people are like that as well. In Metro Manila here in, in, in where I am located, yeah, we are, uh, we are aware of the banking system, but there are people, just as I've said, that they don't, they don't want to have that. So uh, Ujikas is one good, uh, payment and the bank transfer as well for other people that uh, can uh, help uh, develop the subscription mindset of 
Filipinos because we can hit ranks um, easily here, but the problem is to maintain the rank through the reorder so we can focus on the system on developing the maintaining the rank through the reorders because that's i believe that's the bottom line awesome. and also a simple way to focus on the roadmap to pro c because that's the foundational rank or we call it core rank if people can uh be empowered to teach people how to reach the rank of pro three in uh, a way that there is sense of urgency. So uh, that, that's very, very important. And that's to maintain the pro three rank. Everybody hits the pro three and maintain the pro three rank, not uh, focusing on the pro five, pro seven. I believe we just have to focus on the core rank. and. It, and if everyone hits the core rank, then everyone can run up to Pro 5, Pro 7, Pro 8, or even Pro 10. So uh, a simple way to uh, a system, a simple system that Filipinos can follow how to reach the Pro, rank, pro 3 rank uh, in like uh, in one month. Well, here we do it in one week, in two weeks, in three weeks, in four weeks. So it, it, it's easy to rank up, but uh, always the challenge is to maintain the rank. So, and, uh, and of course, other uh, things that we need to learn, how to close, how to follow up, how to uh, uh, practice all the income producing activities because Filipinos are hardworking, but the thing is, they are busy um, uh, not producing the, the, the volume because of the, not the right actions towards uh, building the, the business. Well, bottom line is we need to empower Filipinos building the people so that we can build the business. So we don't build the business, we build people, empower them to have a simple system to, uh, uh, focus on the subscription on the Pro 3 rank and to have that bullet, bulletproof mindset and um, uh, get rid of the excuses that we have because, you know, uh, just like all other uh, people in the world, we also have a lot of excuses here <laughs> in the Philippines. So income is so low here, not everybody can afford to even pay the, the, the silver packs. But uh, it's all about mindset, I believe, because me, I always sponsor people with the platinum pack. And most of the people I sponsored is platinum pack. I haven't sponsored a silver pack. It's all about mount mindset. So if we can empower people to have that kind of mindset uh, and have that business uh, mindset so that we can change people's lives here in the Philippines. And also, uh, Filipinos are fond of traveling, <laughs> go places, uh, unlike me. <laughs> I don't. I don't really enjoy traveling, but I learned to do to appreciate traveling when I joined network marketing. So uh, yeah, that's about it. But Thank I also uh, folk, uh, teach people because we have lots of excuses and we have several thousands of islands that we want to reach out. So I always tell people to start where we are with what they have and what they can do so that they can limit their expenses. Because if you go to Davao, to go to, to Cebu, and you're from Manila, it will require a lot of marketing expenses. And if you are starting, you cannot, you cannot do that, um, especially if you don't have that money. Uh, so, but the thing is, network marketing, you can still build it even with your limited resources. And I just want to, uh, have that uh, all the Filipinos have that kind of mindset, bulletproof mindset, and to follow a simple system that we can duplicate. Bottom line, it's all about duplication. Yeah. No, thank Madel. I want to say something. Thank you. you. We just spent our two Pro Ten trainers spent the entire time at our summit teaching that exact 
you know, how to get to Pro 3, a Pro 3 making machine. One of the, the guys from Mexico said um, that he called it a, a Pro 3 hot dog machine because he, <laughs> he pictured this person just selling hot dogs, selling hot dogs. And if those were Pro 3s, he said, we're, we're going to be good. So um, thank you for that. I, I wish I could have you actually um, say that to a lot of my teams. I have about four teams in the States that are still trying to figure out why they should be on subscription. They're trying to figure out um, how to sell the big packs to people that are, don't have a lot of money. Uh, it, it's similar. I, I understand some of the differences with the islands and the travel. For me, it wasn't islands, but it was states. We had to travel, um, you know, 12 hour plane rides sometimes to get to where our, our businesses were. And, um, and we, I think I, we wore out, um, well, one and a half vehicles driving and driving and driving and driving because they weren't islands. Uh, maybe if I was there, I would have roared out a few boats instead of cars. But, but the idea is um, very good. Your solutions are perfect, right? It's mindset, right? And how do you still enroll big packs? Because you teach it and you show that. And so that's powerful. Thank you so much. And you're going to be a great leader. And obviously, you've learned in the past all of these, these things and you're applying them to, to this business. And, um, and we'll, we'll definitely get be back and forth and, and helping to get the mindset right. Um, because even subscriptions, right? It's kind of a mindset. It's people, people hit rank sometimes with just packs and they, they think they hit rank quickly. But for us, rank is really hit when your subscription orders or your consistent orders match the volume that you need for rank. Because that is when it's secure and long-term and we don't hit it one month and we're gone the next month. I had a friend of mine who hit Pro 5 in 28 days, right? Pro 5, awesome. But came down and had to learn to build that with consistent orders, not just packs. So the packs got the leaders in, and then they learned to develop the uh, subscriptions and the long-term growth and get people using the product, not just once, but for forever. And um, so anyways, I understand, I appreciate, and I'm, uh, I, I, I'm grateful we have leaders, um, Kai and you guys and um, Madel. This is awesome to see so many people that understand Hello? already where we're heading so yeah yeah fine. blue can i can i add something to that Madel? that's wonderful uh, sharing thank you so much uh blue number one um uh we have a, an itt uh, the system is is so simple you guys but blue said this is really a hard uh journey uh but but a hard journey but it's very gratifying you guys so please uh, plug in to the ITT. We have a training, uh, recorded training for ITT uh, on our Kai Hayes lifestyle and also at your back office. And when you click the flag, change it to USA, it, there is what you call the launch guide. And we are going to make sure that Greg and I are going to have a power hour once a week uh, as soon as we leave for, for the US power hour once a week grab you know grab that chance for those who wants to join us for a power hour then we will have that itt so you guys can be familiar with with the system because you learn how to invite learn how to follow up learn how to close learn how to do, do the third party validation everything which we always do guys however um for the pro three yes uh, Madel, I know that the subscription is such a really big challenge here in the Philippine market. Guys, when you rank advanced, for example, like Blue said, Pro 5 in one month, you know, because of platinums, this and that, and then the following month, how are you going to do that? <coughs> well, my biggest two cents would be identify. Let's say you, pro, you become Pro 3 in 30 days. You signed up five platinum. Now, identify out of the five, one or two leaders. OK, you don't have to really um, sweat yourself with, with, you know, just chasing all these five people because you know that out of five people, only one or two or even one will go to work. So keep that person and then get to the next uh, get get five new blood, according to Marcel Niederhauser, get five new blood each month and then 60, uh, 30, 60, 90 days run. Guys, you will get to where you want and maintain that. And additionally, Blue, can you request to um, to uh, the corporate that maybe, maybe there's uh, a leader that uh, have told me about this, you know, in, in their other network marketing company, when they reached the rank of pro four or pro five and above, they actually did an automatic, automatic deduction from their account, the 100 PV or whatever required is 200 PV for, for in the Philippines from pro one to pro five, they only are required 100 PV. For profile, a pro, pro six sevens and above, they are required 200 PV. 
So they, they have a little bit of leniency compared to our US because we're US, you know, we need to have 200 PV. But if you can ask the, 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 the corporate, maybe they can, you know, maybe we can, you know, to, uh, agree upon the distributors in order for them not to do the subscription uh, because they, they really don't want to give their credit cards. Even the rich people don't want to give their credit cards. They just have, they, they haven't embraced that. They're in a cash basis here. So what if we can ask their permission to deduct? Pro4 has a business already. They are earning, uh, you know, they're all earning a regular monthly income. So if we can deduct 100 PV automatically, I believe that that might be working for, for a, a lot of us here. They, they like that. They said that they like it because the money is not coming from their new money. The money is coming from their hard work. So it's, it's okay for them. Well, go ahead. I know we're out, almost out of time. Share real quick and then I'll close and then we will, we will pick this back up. I don't want those that, that have a time okay. crunch to stay. Um, Kai, great, great advice and great thoughts. Um, some of the, I'll just let you know, I don't, I'm not going over all the things we're working on for changes, but there's out there. We have a lot of ideas. We get a lot of information, a lot of advice, and we look at all of that and we get it to the right people and, and we will continue to do that. So I have a list here of those things. And then obviously, um, even with the current situation and all those, we have people, like you guys said, we have people hitting three, four, five, and we've been open for months. Like you guys are doing it. You're getting through the, the, the hard times. Um, we had different countries open that, that had even some of the things you're talking about in place and they still had hard times and hit rank even slower. So you guys are figuring it out. I'm proud of you. <laughs> It's exciting. Did we have one more one more person with comments, and then we'll we'll yes, close. Yes, our pro five blue. Who who was that? I missed who. Sorry. She's our pro five uh, future elite, of course. Coach Ella, come on in. Ella, go ahead. Thank you. Good morning in our country. Good evening there, blue. Thank you. Uh, I opt not to talk. Supposed to be, <laughs> but I cannot help it. But all their concerns I've been through. I'm a seasoned networker, but I do it professionally. I based on my work, based on education. I based everything that I do based on truth and research. I love reading and I love researching and I love to keep on comparing what I have now and what I am going through. So with this company that we have Life Vantage, the first time I saw it with Atikai Hayes presenting it, my mind was blown up. I saw the total difference, the total approach, the total excitement comes into my bloodstream. I've seen it long before I became a pro five in my first month. I was just uh, all the concerns all about that. And I put my mindset, everything in leverage business, 80% to my teammates here, 80%, they all become only subscribers. 20% top the leaders. We have to make servant leadership to all our people. And we are happy doing that. We're happy doing that and keep on educating. As a leader, we, I keep on updating myself. Every videos, every learning, everything that I can research to my people directly. I put myself into responsibility and accountability to my own team. I don't complain, I don't negotiate. I just keep on working and I'm happy doing it. Awesome. That's what I'm doing now. I keep on thanking my uplines, my support lines, but I keep on supporting my downlines. So that's what I can share. Ella, thank you. We have a lot of great leaders and I, um, and I know time's tight. Ella, I'm, I'm sure you, you guys can share a lot. You guys could do this training and, uh, and let me take notes the whole time, which would be fun because <laughs> you guys are awesome. Um, what I will say is this. Um, you obviously, like I started with, I said two things. You have the products that are unique and have integrity. They're honest. They work. So you don't have, you can, you can show it in confidence. You have leadership that's there to back you up. 
you obviously have talent and skills there of, of people from this industry. Um, we have attracted because of who we are and why we're different and, and those things. Um, you'll have consistent um, income examples and stories. And as we continue to grow, those will help certain people that are into that and looking for that. And um, when we get over there and have leadership and the ability to connect and answer questions, maybe, maybe long-term, how do we build a business, not for this year or next year, but how do we build something that ends up, you know, to hitting pro 10 on the 10th of the month, right? Can you imagine hitting pro 10 on the 15th, halfway through the month and having the rest of the month be cushion or, or um, security in your business, right? Um, how do we build a business that, that we make that kind of income and those kind of volumes for, for 10 or 15 or 20 years? Uh, this is our like 13th, 14th year in the company. And we've been able to enjoy what you guys are experiencing the last few months. We've been able to enjoy that for over, over 10 years. Right. Um, and I expect that to be 20 and 30 years. And so the mindset we want to portray and what I'll finish with tonight for training is this long-term longevity message. It's, you know, there's people that will, 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 you know, there's different companies they've been involved and there's different reasons why hopefully we have everything to attract because of our products, our leadership, our compensation and our ability with our culture to, in, in, to find the right people, impress them, bring them here, let them work long enough to have the success they're looking for. And then they can reach out and be part of our culture, right? Our culture is, is an average of all the people we've gathered and found. Our culture is expanding and not necessarily changing and going this direction and that direction, but it's getting stronger and stronger. Every country we add, every leader we add, every talented skill set that you guys bring, right, from your past to this company, we are, are, um, we are growing and our culture is expanding and, and strengthening as we do that. So uh, the culture is something we can bring and share, but you guys will embrace it and actually strengthen it. Okay, we know that and that's why we're excited to work with you guys. You have the ability to do that. So we have 50 leaders on the call tonight. Um, a lot of you leaders, congrats on setting this up and making it a reality. I don't wanna have, have you guys commit to an hour and have it be longer every time. So we'll try to keep it to an hour. Right. Um, but just know that we're here to help. We're here to support. I do have a list of, of training topics that you guys gave me. Um, I, I hear in your voices the excitement I hear the struggles, which is, is fine. Every time, every place I've done this with, um, we, we get similar struggles. Some are, are country based, some are, you know, just people. And some is just the fact that we're in network marketing and it's an industry that takes talking. It takes no's, it takes sifting and sorting until we find those that are there. That process does a couple things. It teaches us what we're really good at right? And we can be confident and get on stage and have the mic and teach and educate people and mentor them. It feels good. It also finds our faults and our, um, the things we lack a little bit very quickly. <laughs> it finds the hard things. It finds our person, the places we need to grow personally. And, and it allows us to uh, grow quickly. And in reality, the faster we grow, then a lot of times the faster our teams will grow. Because the, the personal growth that we have, our, our teams will see that and follow us and, and we'll be able to help more and more people. So do not forget where you came from, right? Your backgrounds, your talents, your strengths, your skills, bring those with you. Let's always get rid of the little short-term things that are not helping our business. We'll work together on that. Um, let us continue, let corporate do their job. We do our job and we can you know, give them some advice, but then we just keep running. When we started, guys, we had one bottle of product, Pro Tandem only. We had a little video that wasn't even um, our corporate video. And we didn't have a compensation um, example of incomes. We didn't have, um, uh, I mean, honestly, the first 20 people that I enrolled, I took their name and phone number and everything on a piece of notebook paper. <laughs> I wrote it down on notebook paper. It's kind of hard to ask your best friend to enroll and put their credit card number on a piece of notebook paper, right? Um, so you can imagine, we've been there, we've, we've had some of those struggles and um, you guys have some similar ones, but you guys have everything we need. Let's run, let's work together. Let us continue to work on the back end together as leaders and, and correct as many things as we can. And we'll push this forward and uh, we'll watch the Philippines continue to grow at a, a record pace. You guys are doing it. You're proving it can be done. Um, and I appreciate you doing it with 
with the ability to have cons you know constructive criticism or constructive um, things that need to change, but also the the heart to just say, but it's mindset. We don't care. We're running. We're hitting rank in days and months and weeks, and you guys are proving it. Use those stories. Use those examples. Um, otherwise, we might have people waiting for certain things to be fixed before they start. By the time they're fixed, right? By the time they were fixed in the states, we were already uh, at eight pro eights and pro nines in the company, and and then some things finally got figured out, and it was fun. That I, I'm glad I didn't wait, right? Because we had a huge team by the time that happened. So take it, run with it, you guys. Thank you for all the nice comments. Um, Kai, you can probably look through those if there's other additional things that we don't have time to cover. You and I can talk offhand or you can text I will. Some of them. Because I, I want to make sure people's th thoughts are covered, but I appreciate all the, uh, the gratitude. My, um, my wife stepped in real quick. I'll just have her say hi in closing because she has a chance Come on, to. Ray. Come on, Ray. Um, we will actually hopefully be coming out to say hi to you guys and we love traveling we, hey! we do this say hi ray well. to everyone to your hi, how are you guys good to see you <laughs> my wife and a little little note one minute story to end on is my wife my wife has been working hard she used to play volleyball and she lost her leg in an accident and has a prosthetic and after that got asked to come try out for the Olympic volleyball team um, for setting volleyball. It's a special game you sit down, everyone has some kind of disability or, or lost limb or something. And, and um, she's been practicing for that. We've been practicing here at the house. And so there's a, there's a chance she could actually be playing in Paris at the Olympics in a few years. Oh. And so we've enjoyed um, oh. The mindset, talk about mindset when things get tough mindset. and things change and life changes. And next thing you know, you're pushing hard to, uh, to accomplish another goal. Um, Ray's been a great example of that. Been telling her story all over and hopefully we get a chance to come tell some of that story to you and help you to just be inspired um, to, to push forward when things are tough and things are hard and things aren't perfect. You can't change certain things. You, you, just, you just figure out what you can control you take those things and you just run with it and you just push yourself. And, uh, and she's been a, uh, an inspiration to our family, our kids, our girls, um, and then thousands of other people we don't even know. We continue to hear daily of, of things that, uh, that she's done as well. So you'll be that way in your business as well, but we appreciate all of you. And um, you do not say anything. Yeah, no, thank you guys. Thanks for all the warm welcomes. And I appreciate that. And just keep working hard. It's so worth it. And there's always going to be bumps in the road, but you can overcome them. So just keep working hard. And I'm sure you guys got tons of training from Blue because he's really good and he can teach you a lot. So thank you guys. And I'm sure I'll see you guys around. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. And of course, Ray, hopefully you'll, you'll uh, join us in one of our trainings with Blue. Like a piece of those inspirational talk for all of us, you know, that mindset, Ray, that mindset so that they get to know you as well. No, well, I appreciate that. Thank you, Kai. Yes, we have a beautiful Every team out here. And so hopefully you guys are coming here in June, huh? Let's yes. talk about it. <laughs> we're really Let's close. Well, a few things we're trying to move yeah, around, but figuring it out. I'll, I'll say one funny thing in closing is one time my wife spoke, we went to uh, Japan when they there was somebody that hit Pro 10 and we spoke at Elite Academy and then she spoke on stage. Um, after that, for the next like six months, everyone that saw me, they didn't say, oh, there's Blue. Hi, Blue. We got to meet Blue. They said, are you Raylene's husband? Oh, you're Raylene's husband. I got to get a picture with you. Uh, you must be awesome because you're Ray's husband. It was funny that my, my title changed from, <laughs> from Blue to, uh, to my wife's husband because she does such a good job. So um, we let her speak sometimes, but um, sometimes we think I should stay home with the kids while she goes out and builds a business because she's so powerful and, and uh, good at, at helping people. But now it's fun because our kids are older. We get to travel and do the business a lot more together. And uh, we've enjoyed that. And so hopefully we'll be able to come and, and, uh, and share a little bit with you, learn from you and, and pass down anything we can to help speed your business and uh, help you not have to go through the same lumps and bumps that we did. We can speed your, your path to success by helping you to, uh, to not to avoid some of those and, and to adopt the good things and get there a, a lot quicker. So that's our plan. And um, Kai, thank you um, again, you guys for staying up. Uh, I guess it's early for you <laughs> midday. I know you guys, some of you had to get out of work or 
to make this work and I don't want to take too much of your time, but just know that we think about you often. We're excited. We appreciate your hard work and dedication. We understand the struggle. We, we had to launch a company when the company wasn't even ready yet to launch. And, uh, and so at least we have some things in place you can at least talk about that, that we already did in other countries and then know that some of that is coming there and you guys will be able to bring the successes that we've had here there and I'm hoping to have more pro tens there than we have here. I mean, I would be honored to share that stage <laughs> and share that title with, with hopefully all of you. I mean, it's, it's literally what the company needs and you guys are all going to be part of that growth and that solution and uh, to allow this to be long-term. So thank I, you, I Kyle. Turn it back to you. And we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Thank you guys so much. I think it's going to happen you, Lou, because uh, we already have uh uh, pro eight, uh, and then we just had a pro nine, Josie Tong, pro eight, Jasper, and we have a couple of pro sevens, uh, blue. That means Greg was telling me, Hey, the ITT works, the system works. So I got to meet Josie and some of those leaders, and we did the training for them because they were at the pro five summit. So I got to meet a lot of you guys, I mean, uh, leaders in the country, and uh. The more you guys just work together and lock arms, and uh, like I said, when that when that tide rises, right, all the ships rise. Your guys is all of your business will will rise together if we work hard and and have integrity and work together and be honest and show the world what a a legitimate publicly traded network marketing company looks like, what it does, and we're gonna we're gonna prove that it's a difference. So I'm excited. So thank you guys. We'll let you go to the. Thank you guys. These are the dates to remember. Okay, so upcoming events would be Cebu City Roadshow at the Cebu Park Lane. That's going to be on April 9th, International Hotel from 2 to 5 p.m. Now, we also have April 9th on uh, Davao City Roadshow at the Pinnacle Hotel from 1 to 4. And then June 10th is going to be our Pro 3 and Above Conference event. Uh, it's going to be held at the New World Hotel. So please, please, we have April, April and May, April, two months to create our Pro 3s, brand new Pro 3s, and bring them over to have that experience that, you know, the last time that we had for our first Pro 3 conference, it's historical event, you guys. So why don't you bring a lot of your team don't just be alone there. Uh, bring your team so it would be more, much more fun and fulfilling. June 11th, Life Vantage Philippines Grand Opening Event, uh, SMX Convention Center from 1 to 4. Make sure that you bring as many guests as you can. Guys, this is the time to reinvest with your business. The more people they, uh, who could see our uh, event, the more uh, people are going to join. So guests are welcome here as well. And all your new distributors, June 11th, Life Vantage exclusive gala event. Oh, sorry for the wrong number, uh, wrong, wrong spelling. Gala event for Pro Force and above. So get to Pro 4, you guys, so that you will be a part of this gala event, will, which will be uh, attended at Conrad Hotel from 7 to 10 p.m. This will be a special event, you guys. And October 20 to 22, Life Vantage global business event in Phoenix, Arizona. Everybody's are welcome. All the world, all the 22 countries are gathering already. And they normally, we normally see them from Japan, from, from uh, Asia, from Europe, from uh, Australia, New Zealand. Everybody will be there and bringing their team. It's a spectacular, spectacular experience, you guys. So uh, plug into your leaders so that you won't uh, miss this uh, wonderful uh, events.